I'm here at uh, Winning Ways for Walkton with two Allisons, Alison Taylor and uh, Alison uh, Barrow. Um, it's a little bit noisy, so I'm asking you to put the mic up uh, a bit. Thanks very much, Alison. Can you tell me a bit about how you got involved in this? Yeah, basically I was asked by Linda to come along to the first meeting, which I did, um, and I was really enthusiastic about what they were talking about there, so I've, I've just been coming to all the meetings since. Um, so what's been your experience? What stories have you been telling? Um, I haven't really been telling any stories. I've been sort of collecting stories from people, um, just basically the general public, of people that have never ever smoked, um, and just been getting stories from them. And what are you hearing? What are people telling you? Um, basically, um, if they've got... When all the friends are starting to smoke around the age of 13, 14, 15, if they've got something else in their life at that time, um, I mean, one of the ladies that I spoke to, she was really into disco dancing. Um, so she wasn't interested in smoking, she was more interested in concentrating on the dancing and the health side, and she wanted to be healthy to do a dancing. So I think if, some, if they've got a different focus... I guess, that's, that's I guess everybody's true. story's different. Yeah, everybody's different, yeah. Yeah, what about the lads? What, what are you getting from I them? didn't actually interview any men. <laughs> <laughs> it was just the ladies that I did. Okay. I, didn't, I couldn't find any men that had never smoked, so... That's interesting. In yeah. Itself, okay. yeah. Right, can I turn across to uh, Alison here and just pass... Can you just pass the mic across, so... Thanks very much. And um, so tell me a bit about your work then, Alison. Okay, well, I'm a, a local community health trainer, and what I do is I work one-to-one -one with people in the community who want to make a positive change in their lives. That can include any aspect of health and well-being, and it, smoking is one of them, of course, so that's how I got involved. But I also got involved in the fact that I've tried cigarettes very briefly, but I'm actually not a smoker and never have been a smoker as such. And is this a different kind of approach that you've come across before? Very different, yes. The, normally the concentration is on getting people to stop and looking at the reasons why they're finding it difficult to stop uh, and putting support in place to help them. Uh, but this approach of actually looking at why people don't start, start in the first place is, is quite fresh and, and new. And I guess people are very happy to talk about that, maybe a bit more easy to get people to talk about that than giving up smoking. Yeah. Absolutely, yes. Yeah, they want to give their point of view for once about the smoking aspect and they've, they've usually got very, very strong views on the subject.